here's the bracy update so after six weeks in the NICU we brought our little prince home last Saturday the departure for me was bittersweet I had grown really fond of the NICU of some of the other couples we met in the NICU and one of my closest friends here is actually one of the head NICU nurses Triche so we ended up spending a lot of time with her she took such beautiful care of Bracy, and it was just so emotional for me to see her saying goodbye to Bracy, and we plan to stay in really close touch. I tried not to break down again on the walk home where my daughters, Annalise, 11, and Marielle, 9, who was the original Cloud Mom baby, and the baby you will see if you see some of my other older videos, like how to change a diaper, how to swaddle, that's Marielle, they walked Bracy home. Bracey's brothers greeted him at home and it was a very, very special day. Bracey ate very frequently during the course of the night. The NICU encouraged us to give him at least three bottles a day so we could keep track of the quantity of food he was getting and make sure he was eating enough. So we alternated between breastfeeding sessions and three bottles a day. One of the bottles had six drops of vitamin D and a few milliliters of iron, which the NICU told us to administer to Bracey every day. I was really nervous the whole week because I just wasn't sure that he was eating enough and I knew that when we brought him in for his six-week doctor appointment, which we did earlier today, that if he hadn't gained enough weight that he was going back to the NICU and thank heavens, Bracey has gained about 20 grams a day so he's good. We're not going back to the NICU and the doctor has told me that we don't have to continue with the bottles and that we can just do the breastfeeding sessions. So that's it from my house. I hope you guys are doing really well in your house with your seven week old baby and I hope to see you back here next week for week eight.